All right. So uh, we're on a P2B still, and we're doing double swift hunt. Let's see how how double swift hunt feels. And again, I'd be really sad uh, if I had to run double swift hunt every game, because I like I like playing with a lot of different add-ons. Like, I still had to, like, wait a second before swinging. But it didn't feel nearly as bad. What? <laughs> <laughs> she just... <laughs> she, she, she just stared at me for a second, then just like... <laughs> Alright. Whatever. Sure. I see you, Bill. You do kind of blend in, but how did I hit her? <clears throat> I'm gonna have to watch that again. <laughs> I shouldn't have hit her. Alright. Hope you got balance landing, Bill. No, but... He fell far enough that I couldn't hit him, but whatever. Whatever. Again, I hope I don't have to run double windstorm. Or, uh, double swift hunt. Because I like running Bone Clapper and I like running all Zing's blood. You know? Can I block this? She just kept running. With the new wind, windstorm added, I do have to keep in mind that I should be body blocking. Where'd she go, though? Oh, man, she just kept running. People who don't play tiles just debate me so hard. Alright, that didn't feel too bad. That felt alright. That feels kind of like normal. Have to play with it a little more to feel out if it's normal with swift hunts or normal without swift hunts. But, uh, yeah. This girl doesn't really know where he's going. Yeah, alright. I kinda wanna say Double Swift Hunt feels like <coughs> Old Wiss, a green Swift Hunt. Definitely without Swift Sun. Yeah, if I'm uncloaking on their back and they're holding W. Yeah, it's definitely without sw any Swift Sun. And that's the thing, I've got two Swift Hunts, and it feels worse than having no Swift Hunts. You know, like that, that's kind of. Not so great. Can I get this? Even when she took poor pathing, I couldn't couldn't get that. But I don't think I could have gotten that even on live with Swift End. So I don't think that's too fair. I'm not gonna chase this. I could like break some of the walls and stuff and chase it. And I don't think I've hooked her yet, so. Hey Bill. You know, if people run towards me and don't start running right away, yeah, I can get hits. But against people who are actually decent... You know? 
against people who are decent, <laughs> you're not gonna... This, this isn't gonna happen. I mean, and don't get me wrong, you face people who aren't decent all the time. But even against good players, you know, I can get some of these hits on live. What are you picking up? Bum 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 da 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 dum 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 Is she gonna look behind her? A little bit. That's just normal M1 mind games. But again, I'm, I could not chase her and look for someone who's better, but I want to test my limits, you know, you know what I'm saying? Oh, Bill's still making noises over here. Nice one. But I made the right read. <clears throat> oh, I have hooked her before. Why didn't I think I hadn't hooked her? I have four stacks of barbecue. Oh well. But yeah. Uh, double swift hunt definitely feels worse than no swift hunt. Why didn't you run into that pallet? Like, I cannot hit people out of stealth, and I can barely get that hit there. Barely. On live, I get that no sweat. But on that one, I had to sweat. I had to sweat. I don't think she's here. I think she's just kept running. But yeah, she's running back. Yeah, I, I don't think I hit that even on live. I mean, unless she takes this weird cabin. But oh uh, yeah, I like cloaking in between every hit. And going for uncloaked hits. Well, I, I, that's fun to me. But it's really hard. Because you move so so slow. Alright. Hey! Stop that. You missed. And I still got it anyways. Um. Yeah. It's. It feels worse than. than live. With no with no uh, swift hunt on live with swift hunt, you get that stuff easy, easy. Uh, I could have gone back and gone for them, but I want the game to last a little longer, so I have more time to talk. I mean, I've kind of said everything that needs to be said at this point. I'm just kind of saying the same thing over, like... I'll try... I'm gonna... add some live games. And I'm gonna try and get this map. So you can kinda see... how it feels. And... didn't I see the other girl here? Yunjin, I think her name is. I'll probably cut out this bit in the middle. Just because I'm trying to let them recover and I'm kind of doing nothing. <laughs> there we go. They can't see me right now, even if I wasn't moving. There we go. 
All right, let's go to the shack. Hi. You have a key. You do have a key. You probably don't know where the hatch is. Well, I do, though. I know where the hatch is. People never fall for that one. I'm pretty bad at Shaq, honestly. I baited her, but then I baited myself. But she doesn't make anything anymore. Alright. On the hook you go. Let's see if uh, Yunjin or whatever her name is. I think that's her name, Yunjin. I think, let's see if she uh, knew where the hatch was or not. But again, this move speed feels good, you know? Like, don't get me wrong. The move speed wall cloaked, it feels good. People are saying it's purple windstorm, but it feels, it feels like green windstorm to me. I don't know. But the, the, the slowdown penalty definitely feels like double windstorm. It's definitely double windstorm slow. Like, the only reason I can get this hit is because she was, like, doing circles and stuff. Like, if I come out of the swinging, I can't hit her. If I'm running one swift ton on live, and I'm at someone's back, I hit them. Even without swift ton, I get really close. Uh, I was testing with one of my friends earlier, and um, with a coup de grace deck, you can barely hit someone with... Um, uh, Windstorm. With one swift hunt. Also, my mouse is really sensitive, so it's really easy for me to click stuff. And I'm still getting used to it, so I, d I didn't mean to swing there. But I did. I don't think I would've made that anyways. I kinda usually pull the hooks on that side of the map. But uh, yeah, with a coup de grass deck, you can barely hit someone without swift hunt if you're a cloak on their back and they hold W. So, I don't know, either we're gonna have to run Double Swift on every game, or we're gonna have to run Coup de Gras every game. And, I don't know. Coup de Gras? Meh. Alright. So, this game, we're running one Purple Windstorm and one Purple Swift. So, this, this is faster. This move speed is faster than PTB move speed. Feel, like, a little bit. Just a tiny bit. And I can guarantee you I'm... Like, this is gonna feel a lot nicer than the double swift hunt on PTB. Guarantee it. This is gonna feel better than double swift hunt on PTB. blocking this. You can't go that way. You should have left when you had the chance. But yeah, double du double swift hunt? I don't even hit that. You know? Like... 
what are you doing, you crazy person? What the hell you did? Did you see that? Did you see the dead heart? She did it when she was still having the uh, move speed penalty from dropping. So she just kind of dead hearted in place. Dang. Yeah. Well, hello there. Is that live and uh Oh yeah, Claudette, I lost you. I don't know where you are. Yeah, I completely lost you. That's why I cloaked. Yep, let me pop this again, thank you. See, even with... Uh... One Swift Hunt and one... Storm, you can get some of these crazy uncloak hits. That you just cannot get on PTB, even with double Swift Hunt. Now, probably, maybe. No, I don't think I get that. Ooh, just, just. But there, I do not hit that on PTB with double, double swift taunt. It just doesn't happen. And I think what's happening on the PTB is that you're moving so slow, it's taking like. A half a second for the speed boost to actually kick in. Like, this feels a lot nicer than, than PTB feels. And the windstorm is higher, the uncloak speed is less noticeable. It's, it's not as bad. You're just gonna keep running. Alright. It's just like, I hate everything about the BTB. I hate everything about it. Man, you guys are just not having any luck on these gens. Because I'm downing people too fast. Didn't see her till it was too late. But oh well, got rid of the pallet, I guess. Come here, Jane. gonna go back to this window, huh? I don't hit that. But she's gonna vault anyways. Predictable. You see, you don't need the extra map pressure that Windstorm gives you. You don't. Just, like, this is so much better than what's on the PTB right now. You see, you hit that even through Sprint Burst. If I get DS, I don't care. I don't. I think she's dead too. You're just gonna run? You're not gonna tap that gen? I mean, it's probably at zero by this point.
Hmm. I thought I saw someone for a second. I didn't. They're right here. Oh, hi. Thank you. Like, next game, I'm gonna run double windstorm. Where'd she go? Oh, she, she jubated me. She juked me. I've been bamboozled. No, no, no. You don't get to go that way. Like, man. You just, you just, that hit is just not possible on PTB. Just ain't. These hits, not possible on PTB. Not in the slightest. So, I hope for anyone watching that, especially if there are any devs watching, although I doubt it because I get like 20 views or less. But if someone is watching that has any power, uh, know that uh, Wraith mains like me are not are not not happy about the PTB changes. You might think you're buffing the Wraith, but it's really not. It's really not. It's really a nerf. Like, I hope, like, these last, like, five or six hits I've gotten really show you that, um, the PDB changes are a detriment to the Wraith and not a buff. Like I said, I'm probably going to do one more game with uh, Double Windstorm and see how that feels. I'm probably just going to use green and yellow and not purple to try to see if it's the same as per as uh, add on this Wraith or not on PTV. So this time, I burned a Macmillan so I could kind of show you. I was hoping to get the same one I got in one of the previous ones, but I didn't. And I'm running double windstorm, green and yellow windstorm. And I want to see how bad is the slowdown. And yeah, that's just about, oh, I got stuck. Uh, it's just about as slow. Maybe it's a little bit not as bad, but barely. Barely. Ah! Alright. I thought he went again because he had dead hard, but he didn't. So I was trying to bait the dead hard and never hit him, but... He didn't dead hard, but I hit him anyway. <laughs> But, um, yeah, the slowdown with Double Windstorm is pretty much as it is in PTV. That's, it's just so slow. I really don't like it. Like, it's probably not worth cloaking in chase anymore with the Bowen Storm. Oh, I really thought she would, like, slow vault back or something. No, no, no. And I heard someone breaking bones. Did I not? Yeah, I did. I see barely, you can see a scratch marks right there. I don't know how to There we go. But, uh, yeah. 
Green and Yellow Windstorm is, I think it's a little bit faster. This is a little faster than Cloaked Wraith on PTB. But the uncloak, the speed wall uncloaking is about the same. Like, that was always kind of the downside of Windstorm, is that you got extra move speed, but you had a weaker trace. So you could get around the map faster, but your trace was weaker. That was kind of the, the downsides. But of course, you can do the body blocking and stuff. <laughs> Alright. But I mean... If she didn't turn around what I got in that hit, probably not. No. Like, I'm trying to assess if Double Windstorm is worse than live. Or worse than PTB, or about the same. I don't know. I've got to play with it for your... Hopefully by the end of this game, I'll be able to discern if it's better or worse or the same. Yeah, I have a feeling PTB revert reverted the change to uh, how long you get the uncloak speed. Because this feels better than PTB. You know? Hmm. This girl knows all my jukes. Like, I would love to be going for like uncloak kits and stuff, but you see, you tried that the first time and it didn't work. And you try it again and it still doesn't work. Tisk tisk. But yeah, this, it feels like I'm getting the uncloak speed boost for longer here. You're trying it too? That doesn't work on me, dude. Go home. You're drunk. Scratch marks. They might have been leading the other direction. Oh, hi. I guess you're not doing gens. I'm getting a lot of surge value here. You're way over there. You're right here. Hello. 
Are you gonna have to yes? I don't, you shouldn't. It's kind of hard to remember things. I mean, killer player is better than me. Would could probably have discerned. Hi. Oh, you do have bounce landing. You must have. I must have ate you right as you got it last time. Or you were exhausted already or something. I almost missed that. But alright. I don't want to get flashlight saved here. And I know there's someone with a flashlight around. And I know there's people in that gen, and I could go for the slug pressure, but I don't feel like I need to. And besides, I'm not really trying to win exactly. I'm just trying to showcase some things. Is there a pallet here? Hello? I don't think I hit that, but... Almost. I don't really want to go to shit. I really don't. Surprise! Are you the one I just hooked? I think so. You can DS me, that's fine. Or not. Right. She wanted to try to dumb tuck me again. <laughs> That's literally what she was just trying to do. Are you in this locker? Are you really in this locker? My goodness. Like, even Double Windstorm on live feels so much nicer than, than than how it is on uh, PTB. Blood is leading right to this locker, bang. Come on, man. Man, these people think I'm stupid. Oh, he's a Wraith player. He's dumb. Because nobody plays the Wraith like I do. Wraith means... Surprise! You were too slow in barbecue, my dude. And I saw you. But I uh, got yeah. this. Even this feels so much nicer. Like the speed boost lasts longer. Like I'm pretty sure that's what it is. And this, it's not. I. Th I don't know. I have to watch through. But the slowdown while uncloaking doesn't feel as severe either. Did that? Elodie, greenhouse guy. Oh, she did have DS. She just didn't DS me. I figured that's why um, she let me hit her instead of the, the fang, but whatever. So, to sum up my thoughts, I hate the PTB changes for Wraith. 
I, I think they objectively make him weaker. Right? Like, double windstorm on, on live servers feels better than the windstorm they're giving us on P2B. This is faster. And the uncloak movement speed is faster. And the speed boost is longer. Like, it feels like on PTB, the uncloaked moves, the, the movement speed while uncloaking is slower than Double Windstorm. And the speed boost you get out of stealth is shorter. That's what it feels like. And it feels really bad. So, I really hope that um, that gets changed. I'm probably, I'm gonna stay active on the forums expressing my discontent. But, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, and I hope uh, my insight, my thoughts have provided some insight.